Good morning. Today with me again is Brother Festus, and we're going to continue um, sharing about the greatest need for today. So come back. Last week, um, Brother Festus shared with us what the Lord revealed to him the early part of the year concerning the greatest need for the hour. And what we learned was that the greatest need is the peace of God. Because we see from the scriptures that peace is being taken out. And, and when we say peace, we're talking about the knowledge of the true peace is being taken out of the earth. And where there's no peace, there's chaos and there's war and there's fighting and there's terror. And so he's been sharing with us the word that the Lord gave him for the church world, not just our church, but the body of Christ for this hour. And it is the peace of God. Amen. And so, Brother Festus, thank you for coming back with me again this thank week. Thank you. Thank you, Adam. And I want us to continue on where we left off last week concerning the peace of God. Well, as a matter of fact, let's just reiterate a couple things uh, for, for our audience that was not with us last week. Yeah. The first and foremost thing is that Jesus died and went to the cross for our peace. Yes, yes. The problem in the world today is a lack of peace. Yes, yes. Um, people are killing and, and, and killing and doing all sorts of things because of a lack of peace. But not only that, they, 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 the true meaning of peace, they don't know. So they look for peace in all of the wrong all areas. All the wrong places, that's right, that's right. You see, we were, last week we spoke briefly about the chapter 6 of Re the book of Revelation, mm -hmm. where one of their horse riders was given the power mm -hmm. to take peace from the earth. Mm -hmm. That men should, men should kill themselves. Right. So we are in that season where that horse rider is already riding. Mm -hmm. People killing themselves. Mm -hmm. Bloodshed, fear, terrorism. Terror. Mm -hmm. Where you are, people are living in panic and in confusion. Mm -hmm. So peace is gradually melting away from the earth. But not just peace as people know it but the knowledge and the true experience true. of the real peace mm -hmm. which Christ came here to bring. And the earth. only way that you can get that peace is through? Through Christ Jesus. And as you say, we're going to discuss a little bit the pathway to peace. Mm -hmm. In fact, the Bible says in the book of Isaiah that the way of peace they do not know. Mm -hmm. Many people on earth today do not know what peace is. Mm -hmm. They define peace in their own terms. They don't even understand the true peace, mm -hmm. which comes from God alone. And because they don't understand it, they search for it in the wrong places. Absolutely. And if you remember in Luke chapter 1, mm -hmm. it was speaking, it said, to give light to those who sit in the darkness and the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of what? Peace. Peace. The way of peace. So there is a way. There is a way of peace. Mm -hmm. Peace is a school. Mm -hmm. Peace is a training. Mm -hmm. And uh, many people just don't want to register in that very school. Mm -hmm. And so they don't know the way of the peace of God. Mm -hmm. In fact, in the book of Isaiah, mm -hmm. chapter 53, mm -hmm. uh, it says these words, the chastisement that brought us peace was laid upon him. Mm -hmm. That is 53 of Isaiah. Right, verse and five. verse mm -hmm. 5 says, mm -hmm. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are what? Healed. That word chastisement you find again in the book of Hebrews chapter 12. And it says here uh, in verse, uh, if we look at verse 5, it says, And you have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourgeth every son whom he what? Receiveth. If you endure chastisement, God led with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the father do not chasten? If you be without what? Chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then are you bastards and not sons. Mm. Many believers today mm -hmm. are living like spiritual bastards. Mm. They believe in God. Mm -hmm. They love God. Mm -hmm. They read the Bible. They are religious. Mm -hmm. But they have never submitted themselves into the discipline, mm -hmm. the training mm -hmm. of God's peace. Mm. So many of us today, believers, uh, sometimes even as miserable 
or even sometimes worse than, than the, the unbeliever world, yeah. because the unbeliever may try all kinds of things at least to have a temporary relief mm -hmm. from stress and pressure mm -hmm. <laughs> but the believer who have not given themselves to the God's dealings, mm -hmm. disciplines, mm -hmm. corrections, mm -hmm. instructions, mm -hmm. rebukes, mm -hmm. wait, stop, not this way, that way. Listen to that person. Believe this. Do this. Learn to read your Bible. Learn to pray. Learn to fast. Learn to submit to God ordained authority. Okay. Look for counsel. Look for advice. Don't go in your own way. No, they don't want to hear that. Ooh, that's the, oh. And this is the way of peace. That is why naturally God gives us fathers and mothers. Mm -hmm. God gives us teachers. Yes. God gives us also in the church pastors and leaders. Mm -hmm. Why? Not just for the preaching, but for practical discipline. But people don't want it. Believers don't oh, want it. Oh, yeah. That, that is where we lack the peace of God. Jesus, even though he was a son of God, learned what? obedience the by things, what the things he suffered not by prophecy not by vision and dream not even by the anointing but by the things the structural discipline he had to go through mm -hmm. he had to humble himself bring himself to fit into mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. plan that god had for his life there is a part of peace mm -hmm. this is why if we don't bring ourselves to the disciplines of the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. the disciplines of the Word of God, mm -hmm. and the bliss disciplines to, to our leadership, to our, to the to the children, obey your parents, parents, submit one another in love, husbands, wives, love each other. If we don't submit ourselves to God ordained pattern of discipline, brother, you are in for a headache. Mm -hmm. So these disciplines are very, very important. Mm -hmm. They are the way of life. I want you to share an example. If you, if you mm -hmm. let me say one okay. word Go there uh -huh. in chapter 12, mm -hmm. uh, I will read this for us and then okay. we can continue. In fact, it says in verse 9 of chapter 12 of Hebrews, mm -hmm. it said, Furthermore, we have had our fathers of our flesh, which what? Corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection to the unto the Father of spirits and, and live? live? If you look at verse um, 11, it says, Now, no chastening, no discipline, no corrections. For the present seems to be what? Joyful. Joyous. But what? Grievous. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, afterward, it, it produces the peace peaceful what? Peaceful fruit, fruit of, of righteousness. righteousness unto them who have been trained allowed themselves to be trained in that way. Mm -hmm. So, without being trained in the way of peace, you will never know peace. Mm -hmm. Your flesh will rule you. Mm -hmm. Your mind will rule you. Mm -hmm. Your thoughts will run wild. Mm -hmm. You will not have peace. Mm -hmm. You have moral conflict. Mm -hmm. And he says here, and the, he said, Father says the word here, and the, and the, and, uh, you know, and the peaceable fruit of what? Righteousness. righteousness. The effect of true righteousness is peace, mm -hmm. is quietness, mm -hmm. is assurance. Mm -hmm. That's why the Bible says the kingdom of God mm -hmm. is not meat and drink, right. but what? Righteousness, righteousness joy, peace, and, peace. and joy. And the Holy Spirit. Not in America. Not in Asia, but in the Holy, the Holy Spirit. Spirit. The Holy Ghost is here. Can you imagine when Christ was baptized in the River Jordan? Mm -hmm. The moment he rose up from the waters, mm -hmm. the heavens opened, mm -hmm. the Father spoke. Mm -hmm. The Holy Ghost came down upon him. Mm -hmm. And the Father said, this is my beloved son in mm -hmm. whom I am what? Well pleased. Well pleased. God is saying, this is my beloved son in whom I am at rest. Mm -hmm. God wants to be at rest in me. Mm -hmm. The Holy Ghost wants to be at rest in me. He wants to be able to enjoy what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And listen to what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. And listen to my choices, mm -hmm. decisions, mm -hmm. plans, mm -hmm. thoughts. And be at rest in me. Mm -hmm. Shalom. Mm -hmm. Nothing broken, nothing missing. Mm -hmm. As we submit ourselves to the guidance teachings, instructions of the Holy Spirit and the Word of God, mm -hmm. we experience the peace of God. So that's the reason why we see that the, 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 the church world um, looks so similar to the world. Was. Because, listen, the, somebody in the world that doesn't know Christ, if he is so nervous and restless, he can go and drink a vodka. At least sleep an hour. Mm -hmm. Or he can even take his gun and kill the neighbor that is disturbing him. <laughs> <laughs> but you that is a believer, you're not supposed to do that. So where do you run for when you are in trouble? The, the unbeliever can run to pornograph houses. Mm -hmm. Well, what are you going to do? If you lack peace, mm -hmm. 
as a believer. Mm -hmm. and, you know, there has been that kind of fear in the times past where people say, oh, I don't want to ask anybody what I should do or advice. They might exploit me. Mm -hmm. Well, ask somebody who know peace. Mm -hmm. You cannot look for peace in a man or a preacher or a pastor who has no peace himself. Mm -hmm. Find a preacher that is walking in the peace of God, mm -hmm. the peace of righteousness. Mm -hmm. He will counsel you in peace. Mm -hmm. He won't exploit you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If he's a pastor who is a man, mm -hmm. he won't exploit you because you're a woman. Mm -hmm. If he's a pastor who is a woman, he won't exploit you because you're a man. Mm -hmm. If he has the shalom of Jehovah, mm -hmm. you will hear the voice of peace in his voice. Amen. He will help you find the peace of God in your life. Amen. And you even you even made reference to the fact that you could also, if you listen to someone, you can tell whether they have that peace. Absolutely. Them. Absolutely. And I mean, you can hear the, somebody's voice, you know, if they have peace or not. Mm -hmm. You can even hear somebody's preaching over television, you know, if they have peace or not. Mm -hmm. If they're just busy doing their job, mm -hmm. it's busy being preachers, mm -hmm. or busy trying to build the organization where they have no peace, there's a conflict in their voice. Mm -hmm. They're always trying to defend something, defend themselves, protect themselves, build the organization. No, the gospel of Jesus Christ is a gospel of shalom. Amen. If you are a child of peace, when peace is speaking, you somehow feel it. Mm -hmm. It pulls you, it draws. You say, I, I want that peace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Many people today have the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. They have the gifts of healings, gift of prophecy. They can move mountains. They have faith, but they don't they know peace. peace. Yeah. And God wants us to know his peace and walk in it. Amen. Amen. Now you gave a, a, well, first of all, if you don't, and this is for everybody, if you don't get the peace of God, and if you're not trained in the, in the way of peace, in the way of peace, yes. uh, if you don't take it when you're uh, free, um, if you don't take it God's way, yes. then you're going to be forced to take it or get it another way. Yeah, you see, there's, there's, there's a strange disciplines today. Uh, years ago, I was preaching in Czech Republic. A young man, you know, I didn't know, he came back to me later. One day I was in the meeting, he came in a wheelchair. So a young man in a wheelchair mm -hmm. with his leg already caught. And he came and said to me, years ago, I used to come to your meetings. Mm -hmm. And when you were teaching us about discipline, speaking some things we, you know, how we ought to really live the practical Christian life. Mm -hmm. I thought that was just for African people. Mm -hmm. So I didn't take what you're saying seriously. I was a believer. I'm a Christian. I gave my life to Christ many years ago. But I never thought it is important that uh, I should really, mm -hmm. you know, practically apply the things of God so I can walk in his peace. Mm -hmm. He said, look at my legs. One day I got drunk with my friends. And as I was crossing the road, a car hit me. And they had to cut off my legs. Mm -hmm. He said, had it been I listen to your preaching and follow them, I would have my legs today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I said to him, listen, you've lost legs, that's painful, but listen, if you don't take time, you can lose your soul in hell. Yeah. Yeah. You can lose your, you can lose a, your soul in hell. Mm -hmm. You better submit yourself now, no matter how you've lost legs, mm -hmm. don't lose your soul to sin. Amen, amen. Many Christians have lost their souls yeah. here on earth. Yes, you yes. can lose your mind. Oh, yes, you can yes. lose your reasoning. Yes. You can lose the soundness of mind. Mm -hmm. And God wants us to have a sound, healthy mind yeah. so he can speak to us. Yes. We can understand his ways. Yes, yes. You know, and you also gave an, uh, uh, an example that really, I think that really shook people. And it was about the, the mother and the son where he would go out and bring home things. Yeah, yeah. Share that because, yeah, because that is so I that would say it in this way because there there are today like like in the in the family, also like in the church. Yeah. We have mothers, fathers, all they want is for their sons to bring money home. Mm -hmm. to drive a good car. And you see that today. Yeah, that's it's all they want. Just, yeah, and yeah. They praise you, they clap hands, and they say, oh, strong, lying, and they call your kinds of names. Because you, they don't care to know how you are getting the money, mm -hmm. what you are doing to get the car, get the money, buy the house, what you are doing to bring the jewelries home. They don't mm -hmm. care. Mm -hmm. They just praise you. Yeah, yeah. And so uh, when, when your parents are not parents anymore. Mm. And you see, that's the thing, which you're supposed to get that, discipl that, that yeah. discipline Yeah, so if there's home. no discipline at home, if their mother is smoking, their father is cursing, they watch pornography at home, all they want is money and violence, they curse, they lie, they cheat, they drink, mm. they do all kinds of evil things, and their children copy from them. Yeah. 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 The prison houses are full of men and women who have never learned discipline, mm -hmm. who have never known peace. Mm -hmm. You can have the woman you want, mm -hmm. but lose the peace. Mm -hmm. 
You can have the money you want, but you lose the peace. You can have the car or the house. Mm -hmm. You can eat, drink what you want, but you will never know shalom. Mm -hmm. You will eat, you will still feel hungry. You will drink, you still feel thirsty. You will dress up with the most expensive jewelries, but you still feel naked. Mm -hmm. When shalom comes, mm -hmm. it covers you, yeah. it hides you, mm -hmm. it gives you a contentment yeah. that you cannot buy in any shop in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, I, I want you to continue to share that that, that uh, story about the ma the mother and the son where he was bringing home things. Yeah, the, the, you know, the, 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 we, there was, this was years ago when they mm -hmm. do what is called firing squad. Mm -hmm. and, and this boy was to be shot because he was caught, he was an armed robber. And so he, he said, please, before you shoot me, can I call my mom, please? Mm -hmm. And the mom came. The mom was thinking maybe I want to whisper something to her, to like, her ear. Maybe yeah. tell him, tell her where she, he's hiding some money, whatever. Because she'd been receiving yeah, she, she know the, the, yeah. the, the boy, he didn't know the boy had a rest of lead. Mm -hmm. And the mom bent the ear to listen to the son, what he's going to say. And the boy just cut off her ear. Mm -hmm. and, and the boy said, if you had warned me, mm -hmm. When I was bringing money home, bring all kinds of things. So if you had asked me, son, where do you get all these things? If you had warned me as a mother, mm -hmm. I would not be dying today. Mm -hmm. But you were more interested in the money I was bringing, mm -hmm. the car I was driving, mm -hmm. how I was buying you jewelries. Today I'm dying and you are still alive. Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. you had warned me and taught me and been a good example to me, I would have lived long on earth. Mm -hmm. and, and parents, how many of your sons are in hell today? Mm -hmm. How many of your sons are in prison houses? Mm -hmm. How many of them have AIDS? How many have hung themselves and committed suicide? Because they never saw you pray. Mm -hmm. They never saw you read the Bible. Mm -hmm. They never saw you go to church. Mm -hmm. They never saw you call on God. They didn't see peace in you. Mm -hmm. And because of your wrong example, mm -hmm. your children die before their time. Mm -hmm. And they never corrected them. And there was no correction. No. And, 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 and we are in a time where you can never correct anybody. Yeah. You can see a boy, you know, if you tell him, why are you doing that? Yeah. He will say, if he said that to me again, I'm going to go and hang myself. Mm -hmm. So you say, okay, he said, you want to hang yourself, all right, go ahead and smoke marijuana. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and get cocaine. Go ahead and sleep with the girl in, in the next room. Mm -hmm. So today, the and parents, and, and, and parents can, don't even know how to deal with their children anymore. Yeah. Because you say, well, if you, if you take that from him, who, he will hang himself. Yeah, yeah. If you stop the, that gear from coming here, he will burn down the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have, you have situations, and, and this, is, this is, I think it's important that we hit some of these things because there are things that are happening, and people don't think that, you know, you, we might not know specifically who, but God is seeing it, and God is watching and what you're doing is you're actually destroying yourself and you're de destroying your children. Yes. Parents in the house have their son in the house living with them and allowing a girl to come in the in house the, and I sleep in the... I was sitting the next day in the church. I know I mean, one where they w went to the parents' bedroom. You know, how would you, as a parent, you are in the... And, and again, you say you're a Christian. Yeah. And your son is sleeping with a girl that is not married to the next door. Yeah. He, that child is bringing curse in your Evil. home. Yeah. Now, you said, I don't know what to tell him. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> now, I know it is very, very <laughs> difficult. Absolutely, it is hard. Because if you press, you are afraid of pressing hard on them, and then they run away completely. Or they even go and hang themselves. Listen, what you need as a parent is the peace of God. Mm -hmm. The shalom of God ruling, controlling, dominating your life, mm -hmm. ruling even your own very voice. Mm -hmm. If you can bring the atmosphere and the climate of shalom mm -hmm. in home. your home, your, your son will not hear the voice of violence. Mm -hmm. He will hear the voice of shalom. Mm -hmm. The climate of peace will govern your home. Mm -hmm. That your son will hear love calling him. Mm -hmm. Love speaking to him. Mm -hmm. Peace saying, son, son, you know I love you. Mm -hmm. And your son will hear the voice of peace speaking to him. And peace will disarm him. Mm -hmm. We are screaming and threatening will not Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's what we need in our homes today. Amen, amen. And, and, and here again, when you're talking about having shalom and the peace of God, it's that you're, because you're content. Absolutely. Then you're going to live because you, here again, you're talking about discipline. Yes. Because, but, because you sometimes have parents who've never been disciplined. They don't know what it means to be disciplined. Have children, they can discipline them because they don't know what it is. And you have, the, and the worst of all, you have preachers and pastors doesn't even know discipline. They have not even worked under any pastor. 
they will broke off and start their own thing. Oh, yeah. Their motive of ministry is completely for money. Yeah. It's for competition. Yeah. It's for popularity. So they have never, ever before know what it means to walk under another person. Yeah. They never know what it means to walk in harmony with God and with themselves. Yeah. We as believers or as preachers, mm -hmm. we must fear God. Mm -hmm. The fear of God is that you don't want to miss his will. Mm -hmm. You don't want to miss God's will in nothing. Mm -hmm. You will say, God, search me. Try me. Mm -hmm. Why am I doing what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. Why am I in ministry? Why am I preaching? Mm -hmm. Am I preaching for anything personal mm -hmm. and selfish and worldly? Mm -hmm. Am I preaching to compete with other people? Mm -hmm. Or am I sincerely surrendering myself to the will of God mm -hmm. to do what you want me to do, say what you want me to say, and do it the way you want me to do it? Mm -hmm. If we can come to that kind of harmony with the will of God, mm -hmm. we can also be able to bring other people into harmony with God's will. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Going back to the scripture again, Hebrews 5, 8. Though he was a son, yes. he learned obedience by the things which he suffered. Amen. And having been, been perfected. Yeah. His human nature were not perfected. Yeah. As God, he didn't need any discipline. But as a human, mm -hmm. we had to structure him into the mode of the humanity. Mm -hmm. So he can fit in mm -hmm. and be a merciful high praise yes. to those who come to him because he was tempted in everywhere yeah. as we are yet, yet without, without sin. sin. So mm -hmm. he becomes our best helper in our times of crisis and need. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so continue reading as it says and having been perfected, he became the author became of eternal salvation unto all who, who obey, obey him. him. That word obey him means who submit to his teachings and instructions mm -hmm. and guidelines mm -hmm. of peace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. According to to who obey him, called by God as a high priest. And that's how, we, that's how we became a high priest, because Amen. of his Yes, yes, he, he's gone discipline. through what we've gone through. Mm -hmm. He passed through all that. Then he can now, you see, what Christ does, when you and I draw near to him in prayer mm -hmm. and in surrender, mm -hmm. he, by the Holy Ghost and by his presence and word, impart into our innermost being mm -hmm. his moral excellence. Mm -hmm. He imparts to us mm -hmm. the purity mm -hmm. of the Lamb of God. Mm -hmm. He infused into us mm -hmm. the culture of his personality. Yes, yes. And, and this is very, very important. Mm -hmm. He imparts into our innermost being as we draw near to him in prayer. We bow before him night and day. Mm -hmm. He breathed into our personalities mm -hmm. his moral excellence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we can live a life that pleases him, mm -hmm. that have a positive influence and impact on other people. Mm -hmm. And an atmosphere and climate of quietness and peace mm -hmm. that governs our being. Amen. And that's amazing. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You know, I, I'm talking about leaders, um, especially in the arena of leadership. It's so important because that's what you see so much of today. People come, people come and sit in a church, they hear what they don't want, or you correct them, and they go oh, someplace else. Oh, you don't else. tell them that the skirt is too short for a choir sing, you know. You don't tell them, why are you late here? They, they change the church. Yeah. And the moment they leave that church, they, somebody else gives them, makes them an elder in another place. Yeah. So, so why come here and wait when you can go somewhere else? else. You see, you did not, nobody choose their mother. Nobody choose their father. There are some things in life here you don't you have no right to choose. Mm -hmm. if, if nobody, God didn't give you so okay, who do you want to be your mom? Who do you want to be your dad? The same way you don't choose a pastor. Mm -hmm. God wants to give you a pastor under whom He wants to train you and bring you up. Mm -hmm. You can know all the scriptures and still be a fool. Mm -hmm. You can know everything and even have anointing and even heal the sick mm -hmm. and still be cast away mm -hmm. because you never learned discipline. discipline. You mm -hmm. are trying to choose whom you should submit to. Mm -hmm. No, God wants to choose for you whom you should submit to. Jesus didn't choose Mary. He didn't choose who he will be, the Joseph. Mm -hmm. No, he, God, brought you into that relationship. Mm -hmm. One of the ways God brings us into peace is by him choosing our families for us, mm -hmm. pastors for us, whom he will use to bring us under his word. Discipline. discipline. I didn't choose to go to Czechoslovakia. Mm -hmm. If I was to choose a nation on earth mm -hmm. to live in and serve, possibly I didn't even know where it was in the map. Mm -hmm. God even know the right geographical location where he wants to train you mm -hmm. and raise you up. Mm -hmm. The right pastor, the right place, the right time, and even the right circumstances which God wants to use to bring out the, his best into your life. But today we choose to, we, we, we don't even ask God, where should I be? 
Where, where should I go to? Whom should I marry? Mm -hmm. What car should I drive? Which house should I live in? Mm -hmm. How should I really do everything? Because peace is not just one thing. Peace is everything around you. Mm -hmm. If this was from peace, this was by peace, this was from God's peace, people around you were all brought into you by the right. peace of God. You are living in the atmosphere of peace. Mm -hmm. The bed you sleep in was brought in peace. The car you drive was in peace. Mm -hmm. Whatever you have around you was all brought into your life by the peace of God. You are living in an environment, in an atmosphere of, of peace. peace. Amen. Amen. It's Hallelujah. an environment. <laughs> it's, a, it's an atmosphere. It's an environment. Yes, yes, it's a yes. selection. Mm -hmm. God bring you into that very... All the right choices. All the things where they are brought in by the yeah. peace of God. As you decide by the peace of God. God, yeah. You follow God and he yes. brings it he yes. brings it to free. One th another thing I want you to share on before we, we close is, especially in the arena of marriage, in choosing your mate. I remember you shared with us also an example of someone who you tried so hard to convince not to marry a particular person. Mm -hmm. And he married her. Um, was he a minister, the young man? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He was, you know. Actually, not that. Because a lot of times, a lot, a lot of times, people fail to realize that the choices we make forever affect our lives. Yeah, you see, we, people are sometimes when they consider marriage, they are in pursuit of beauty, mm -hmm. they are in pursuit of position, mm -hmm. they are in pursuit of all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. We, you and I, as believers, we must be in pursuit of peace, yeah. the peace of God. Not in pursuit of beauty mm -hmm. or money. Mm -hmm. Where is the peace of God guiding me? Yes. You yes. see, when, yes. when, when the flood came, mm -hmm. Noah and his family survived the flood. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was already in their psychic that anytime there's rain, oh, oh there could be another chaos mm -hmm. by flood. Mm -hmm. So God set up a rainbow mm -hmm. in the sky. Mm -hmm. And God said to them, whenever you see rain falling, look up. Mm -hmm. When you see the rainbow, don't be afraid. That means everything going to be all right. Yeah. So God is given to us. If you walk with God in his discipline, he will train you. He will give you the signs of peace. Mm -hmm. A little rainbow here. Mm -hmm. A little sign here. Mm -hmm. There's always a messenger of peace around us that God is bringing to us, even in the midst of chaos. Mm -hmm. If you can look and see that rainbow, you say, ah, oh, okay, mm -hmm. this is not meant to destroy me. Mm -hmm. God is here. Mm -hmm. He's guiding me. Amen. So we must always look for that rainbow, mm -hmm. that shadow of the rock in the weary land, mm -hmm. that little water, that little restraint, that little bottle of oil of the widow, yeah. and yes. that's a sign of peace. Amen. You can follow Amen. Listen, allow God to do his work in you so you would be able to walk in his peace. Amen. Have a wonderful week. God bless you. God bless you. Praise the Lord.